Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God, all praises. Um, so this is a message from God to you. God told you what to do with your marriage, your children, your family, your spouse, your wife and husband, your life, your parents. You just don't do it. Children are a gift from God, and so is your spouse. So don't listen to others about what you should do with your marriage your children and your spouse for God gave you the blueprint in his word on what your marriage should be and what you should expect from your marriage stop living up to the expectations and the validations of others on what your marriage should be what your wife or your husband should be what your children should be for our children are a gift from God and so is your wife and so is your husband that God gave unto thee if anybody comes to tell you things about your husband, your wife, or your children, take it up with fasting and prayer and get the revelation out of God on why they're saying such things about your wife, your husband, or your marriage, and your children. Because the enemy attacks the wife and the children and the husband and the marriage home. Because your, fill, your house a foundation he wants to blow it down your house is your foundation that God gave you your marriage covenant and your blessings and your children which is a gift from him and so is your husband and so is your wife God told you what to do with your parents that's why he told a man to leave his mother and father's house and cleave on to his wife God told you what to do with your children Train up a child in a way they should go, and when they are old, they will not depart from it. God told you what to do with your life, to seek him in all things, to love him with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind, and seek him. God told you what to do, expect from your marriage, and how to govern your marriage, and take care of your marriage, take care of your husband, and take care of your wife. God told you how to be a good wife, and how to be a good husband, and how to govern and ordain your marriage. God told you the good things on what to do with your children, and God told you how to deal with your brothers, and he warned you that a brother is born for your adversary. God wants you to know a man's enemies are they of his own household, and Satan uses the enemy, the adversary uses the people closest to you, and he doesn't care how low he'll go to kill, steal, and destroy, lie, and slander your spouse, your children, to destroy your marriage and destroy your family unit and he'll use the people who are closest to you which is your family and your friends to carry out the most evil against you to destroy your marriage your children and your spouse god said do not listen to people when they tell you evil things about your husband or your wife or your children because when people come to tell you things about your children, some people are jealous of your children because they see a light in your children that shines brighter than their own children. God said, do not listen to people when they tell you about your spouse because your spouse may be more attractive or more bright, shines brighter than them and they are jealous of the relationship you have with your spouse. Do not listen to people when they tell you about your spouse because they may be having trouble with their your their spouse and when they see your marriage and your relationship, they want to destroy it because they don't have it. And misery loves company. They don't like to see your happiness, you pushing it in their face with your spouse. And about your children do not listen to things people tell you about your children ask god because you don't know if they're jealous of your marriage your wife or your children or if they want their your children for their own god said in all these things take it up to him he will give you the revelations concerning your children concerning your spouse concerning your marriage because the enemies are your enemies are they of your own household and the people closest to you 
the ones you would never expect to do these things to stop you from being happy are the very ones that are the ones doing it. And God wants you to know that. Do not listen to anybody with any unrighteousness what they say about your spouse, your children, and your marriage. And do not be taking all of these marriage expectations that you see of the world, that what a good woman is, what a good man is, what a good marriage is, because if it doesn't line up with what he's, he's the one who created marriage, he's the one who created children, he's the one who created for you to have a wife and for you to have a husband, if it's not his expectations, then it's no expectation at all. And you're seeking to please him, you're not seeking to please men. So don't let anybody tell you how to govern these things because they never gave it to you. God is the one who gave you your wife. God is the one who gave you your husband. God is the one who gave you your marriage. God is the one who gave you your parents and your children. And he told you to leave your parents' house and cleave to your wife. And he told you to train up your children. And he told you to cleave to your wife. So be mindful in all these things. Why you see so many people with you 